Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we continue our drive on I-10 East across the Mississippi Gulf Coast, beginning at the Long Beach exit at mile 28. I-10 runs through Mississippi roughly parallel to U.S. Highway 90 and the coast about four miles inland. I-10 was completed through Mississippi in 1982. We enter the city of Gulfport, the second largest city in Mississippi with an estimated population of 67,793 within the city limits and nearly 400,000 in the Gulfport Biloxi Metropolitan Statistical Area. Gulfport is the home to the Atlantic Fleet of the United States Naval Construction Battalions, better known as the Navy Seabees. Gulfport had major damage from Hurricane Camille in 1969 and then again in 2005 from Hurricane Katrina. Nevertheless, the population of Gulfport has reached pre-Katrina levels as of 2018. U.S. Highway 49 crosses I-10 here, connecting Mississippi's second largest city with its largest city and state capital of Jackson. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when our new videos come out. And hit the like button if you enjoy our videos.
we enter the city of Biloxi with an estimated population of 45,968 as of 2018. Biloxi is the third largest city in Mississippi. Keesler Air Force Base lies within the city and is home to the 81st Training Wing and the 403rd Wing of the U.S. Air Force Reserve. In the early 1960s, the Gulf Coast emerged as a prime alternative to Florida as a southern vacation destination among northerners, with Biloxi a favored destination. Biloxi hotels upgraded their amenities and hired chefs from France and Switzerland in an effort to provide some of the best seafood cuisine in the country. Edgewater Mall was built in 1963. With the introduction of legal gambling in Mississippi in the 1990s, Biloxi was again transformed. It became an important center in the resort casino industry. The new hotels and gambling complexes brought millions of dollars in tourism revenue to the city. We enter the city of D'Iberville, incorporated in 1988 and named after Canadian explorer Pierre Lemoyne D'Iberville, who arrived in the area in 1699. D'Iberville had an estimated population of 13,831 as of 2018. Here we see the I-110 spur route that connects I-10 with the Gulf Coast. On this 4.1-mile route is one of the few places in the interstate highway system that uses a drawbridge. I-110 was built in the late 1980s. We enter St. Martin, a census-designated place south of I-10. St. Martin had an estimated population of 7,730 as of the 2010 census. We conclude today's video here at Exit 50, which takes you down to Ocean Springs via Mississippi State Highway 609. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 Road Trip.